Hey everyone, today we're going to work on splicing three different types of mini ODFs, commonly used at the customer end for FTTH installations. Our first ODF is a small FTTH fiber panel box. This type is ideal for compact installations like desktop setups or wall mounting. It supports up to two fiber core splices and allows cable entry from either the right or left side. Next, we have a four port mini ODF which offers multiple options for cable entry and managing splices with its dedicated splice tray. This one's typically used for residential or small business applications. Lastly, we have a four port mini ODF. This design is highly versatile, perfect for all types of splicing work. It can be used both indoors and outdoors with cable entry available from either side. Like the others, it also features a dedicated splice tray for better management. Let's begin with the first mini ODF. We'll insert the fiber cable from the right side, strip the fibers to the necessary length, and prepare the pigtails. Measure your fibers and pigtails in mini ODF and cut extra. Then prepare them for splicing. Put protection sleeves and strip. I usually strip about one inch of fiber for splicing. After splicing, dress them well and make sure there is no any close bend in fiber. We'll test the connections with a visual fault locator to ensure everything is in order. Next, we move on to the four port mini ODF. This one has a bit more capacity. We'll follow the same steps. Insert the fiber, strip it to the required length, and splice the pigtails. These ODFs are designed to organize and protect fiber optic connections, helping with smooth service delivery. Since I only have a two core cable available, I'm using extra pigtails as dummies for demonstration purposes. To save our time, I seed up this video. We'll test this with the VFL as well, and it's looking fine. Finally, for the mini ODF, the process is similar. We terminate the fiber, take the required length of both the fiber and pigtails, and proceed with splicing. The real art isn't just in the splicing itself, but in dressing the cables neatly afterward. This mini ODF excels in organizing fibers, ensuring a clean setup. Testing with the VFL at this stage can save you a lot of time and money, as you can spot any potential damage early. As you can see here, one of the pigtails in this mini ODF were damaged. If we had gone to the site without testing first, we could have faced significant issues. So, always make sure to test your splices with a VFL to avoid future problems. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more technical tips, and I'll see you in the next video.